I'm coming from my bare room, which is delightful. Oscar's finally in some sort of routine, so he's asleep at the moment and the boys are off because it's summer holidays, so Charlie is looking after Oscar for me and it's given me the afternoon in my room, which I appreciate greatly because one, it's really, really cool. Two, no one saying mum. And three, I get to spend it with the bears. I mean, there's no, no more... I mean, what a magical place to spend an afternoon, just me and my bears, knowing all my lovely children are just the other side of that wall, watching films and enjoying themselves. So yes, I'm going to spend the day, or the afternoon, with a very special little bear. He belongs to a Mr. Michael P. And he is um, he has come here to be restored. He's in very good condition, apart from, as you can see, the moths have got to his um, paw pads here. So we're going to have to replace those. He's lost both his boot button eyes and he hasn't got, a, hasn't got a facial expression. So I think we need to do something about that. So he'll have a little, little facial expression put back on. Um, but other than that, he's in quite good condition. He's been sewn up at the back here in a way it's quite rugged. I don't know if you can see that, which makes me think that he's, something's happened to him before. So we're going to have a little look. I'm going to open him up and see what's going on inside. Um, and then, yes, we're going to give him back his paw pads, give him back his little claws here because they've all come off as well. Um, and then I'm going to take him back to Michael. So hopefully he'll be pleased. And um, it's taken a while because I've had to order the eyes and he has little boot button eyes. So I've ordered them from the UK. And since Brexit, everything takes a little bit longer than it used to. So now but I finally got the eyes so I can finally start the bear. Um, and yeah, we'll see how he turns out. I'm pretty sure he's going to be lovely, though, because he looks lovely already and he hasn't got any eyes or paw pads. So... Let's create some magic and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is very gently open up this seam to see what's going on inside. Because I think, by the feel of him, he's had a growler at some point. I'll quickly open this up now and see what's going on in here. The other small issue with him is his um, stuffing, the wood wall here, has started to, sometimes they it breaks off and starts to splinter. You can see a little bit here and there's a few bits spiking out. And that actually pushes through the, the, the very worn and old wall uh, pads. So I might, I've spoken, well, I have spoken to Michael about this and I think not so much of his legs, his legs seem okay, but his arms, I think we're going to restuff again with wood wool and kapok, but so that so the, it's a little bit softer just because in the future it's only going to, you know, it's only going to be more wear and tear. So we're going to take the this hard stuffing out, which I think feeling it, it doesn't feel like it was the original stuffing. It's been very, very well stuffed, but the arms are quite bent and lumpy which they wouldn't have been so I think maybe the the end here and if you can see this is definitely original stuffing here to this point but there's like a break in here and underneath I think this is not original but we'll find out <laughs> So on further inspection, the actual um, wood wall that was in his arms had rotted down to nothing. It was almost a powder. So that spongy feeling that I was feeling was actually a powdered wood, wood wall. So I've decided to replace that. Um, and what we have now is we have some new little wool pads on each of his limbs here. His, his head is still attached to his body. I'm just going to put these back on now and then I'm going to restuff him with some fresh kapok and wood wool but also some of his original wood wool because the wood wool in his tummy was okay so we'll put that back in and I'm going to look at his growler and see if I can get that to work again but yeah he's looking good and then it will be his little eyes and his mouth and he'll be all done and ready to go home <laughs> So 
so he's all back together again he has his lovely new little paws here some nice woolen felt there to replace his little pads which were lost his arms have all been restuffed with his original stuffing and a little bit of kapok so they're tiny bit softer because of the the fabric is old and it, and it will start to damage so i've done that i've obviously got michael's approval and yeah i've done that for him and uh yeah so he's a little bit softer than he was um i'm just going to stuff his stuff his belly back up and then we're going to give him his eyes and his little mouth and he will be finished and ready to go home <laughs> little eye holes that you can probably just make out on the camera there's one here and there's one here but they can you see, I don't know if you can see one's quite far in and the other one's further out that's because the eyes would have been pulled tight so he's going to have eyes that are quite close together so I'll pop them both in and then we'll pull them nice and tight and hopefully we should get back his face so his little eyes are traditional boot button eyes that have come from the UK they're glass so they're what would have traditionally been used so I'm just going to fix those in now. he has his little eyes look at those aren't they just adorable so look at that he's come alive so he's got everything's all done now so i'm just going to add his little claws in so he has tiny little he had, he had three little claws on each foot and um each paw but unfortunately they come away so i can see where they were roughly so i'm going to put those back and i'm going to give him his little smile back and he is all done and ready to go home what a cute little bear so I'm just going to recreate his little mouth and to do that I'm just going to put some wax over this thread here so it just stays nice and together and nice and neat and then we'll pop his little mouth on. I think I can actually see the shape here. I did ask Michael what mouth he'd like but having looked at it you can actually see he did have a little a little triangle that went down so he had a little little frown almost the traditional bear shaped mouth so we'll pop that back in now absolutely beautiful um i've got him a lovely little antique brass bell here which i'm going to pop on him now um and then he'll, he'll be all done ready to go home
he was an absolute joy and I hope you enjoyed watching me restore him it's not as detailed as normal but I thought you know you've seen it before so if you go back on the vlogs you can see some of the bears that I've done in quite in detail but he was a, a lovely bear I spent all afternoon with him I've done a little bit of filming for you so you can see and here is the finished result and I think he definitely looks far happier than he did this morning don't you lovely little thing I've got the best job in the world. <laughs>